I got into tying hair jigs uh, about a year ago or so, just watching videos on YouTube. So I kind of came up with uh, some ideas and I used several different ideas that I saw and came up with kind of what I settled on as what I like for a hair jig. And it's essentially, a, it's got feather, weave a little chenille around it, put a little flash to it, um, and then just mix and match with colors. And I'm using a VMC Moon Eye jig. I actually like that jig a lot for tying these flies up. It's got a big eye on it. Just looks really pretty when you get the jig done. So I'll just run you through real quick how to tie one of these jigs up. So basically there's just a handful of things you need. You need a decent pair of scissors. I like something with a real small sharp point and that's more because when you're cutting these feathers that you use in the jigs you want to be able to get in there real tight and separate the feather from itself and cut it off and then it leaves that nice V and then you're just going to do that all the way down with so the narrower the tip you have on the scissors that's a big deal for getting those nice V feathers to use for the tails um, then you need thread um, and then after you've got your feather, then you're going to pick a color of chenille that you want. And then once you've got that, you know, I'm going to add in a little flash too. Yep. So I'll go through this step by step. Um, the first part is I just kind of lay the thread along the shank and then I'm going to wrap around just getting a good base of thread put on there. That just helps everything stay in place while you're tying. Now that you've got everything, you've got your thread base laid. Now I'm going to get my feathers together. And usually I'll take two or three feathers that I've already pre-cut. I'll get them together, get them kind of looking nice before I even put them on the jig. I'm just gonna lay the thread down the back of the hook and I'm gonna just wind, I'll wind it on loose to start um, to kind of get it down there and then I can kind of situate my feathers exactly how I want on the jig. So once I got where I like where they're laying on the jig, then I'll just get real tight with my wraps. And then once I've got the feather laid, I'm gonna pick up, you know, maybe a couple strands of flash. I'll take and double them and cut them. You don't need them to be very long, a couple inches. Cause then I'm gonna wrap them up underneath the shank of the hook and then I'm just going to start I'm going to lay it down as I kind of wrap down around it and I'll just go ahead and wrap this down tight because I'm just adding a little flash to that feather so you'll go down and then come back up get back up to your head we'll cut all that when we get done and the next part we'll add say we want to add some chanel we'll put some green on this one just to make it a wild jig so I'll just lay it along the shank again I'll just wrap down pretty quick so I get down to the base and then I'll come back up a little tighter. Again, just adding a little body to that jig by doing that. You know, I laid the chenille on the back, I wrapped down with my wraps, and then came back up to the head. That way I have the space, because now I'm gonna wrap the chenille back up the shank, up to the head where my thread is. And then I just, you know, I go pretty tight with the chenille. You know, you may have to grab some of the flash and get it out of your way. And it'll take you two hands, but you just wanna lay it as close to itself as as you can as you move up through there. So you're just checking it with each wrap that you're overlapped on the last lap. You know, in these VMC jigs, they actually have a little barb keeper. You could cut it off, I suppose, but it really doesn't get in the way. And I actually think it kind of holds everything in place for me a little better. And once I get up to the head, this is the little trick that, that I do just to kind of cinch it all off where I can cut this chenille off is I, I pull the chenille forward to the head and then I'm gonna go around one time behind it, and then I'm gonna go around one time in front of it. And then I'm gonna go around another time behind it, and then I'm gonna go around one time in front of it. And I'll maybe do that two or three times, just depends. That just gives me a, a, a place where I've cinched that thread down. I've got a pinch point now on the chenille where I can cut it clean with these sharp pointed scissors here. Now I've got the chenille free. And then I'm just gonna wind around a couple more times just to kind of cinch that all off at the head. And then this is where a lot of people will use a, like a bobbin, you know, to tie it off real nice. I've just found this, for me, this just works. I just take and I loop it and then I put it over the head. And then essentially what you're doing is you're pulling a half knot around. So I'm just tying a couple of half knots right here. I cinch it down tight, I'm gonna loop it again between my fingers, pull it up over the head and put it on the collar and then just slide it down till it makes a half knot. I'll do it three or four times. I'm gonna pull all that tight and just cut off my tag in there. And then the last thing I'll do is, you know, this, this flash that I've added, I'll cut it to about the length of the feather, get that excess out of there. And then usually I'll just take a drop of super glue and I'll just put it on that thread around the collar and that will give me 
um, a solid connection there where that's not gonna ever unravel. I'm not gonna have to worry about it. I could fish with it all winter if I keep that jig and not have to worry about it messing up. But so that's just, you know, I like it. What I like about it is I can come up with crazy colors, you know, orange, green, pink, they're gonna react to something, I think, you know, down in that deeper water. I like having a multitude of colors to choose from. And that's, you know, I use some of those glow heads. I might add in two different colors of feathers, different chenille, different colored heads, different color feathers, different color flash. And you can come up with all kinds of combinations. So yeah, it's a, it's, it's a fun way for me to pass the time. They catch fish. You can add scent to that chenille, it'll stay on there. So, I mean, all of those are advantages, I think, when you're fishing in the winter for crappie.